Asteria is a talented young artist from New Zealand who has recently been blowing up in the underground genre of scenecore. Asteria is a unique artist with an interesting history. Hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about him. Asteria grew up living in a small New Zealand town with music entering his life at a young age. However, it did take a few different attempts before music became something that really stuck with him. The first form in which music would enter his life was through guitar lessons at the age of 7. Guitar wouldn't interest him at all and he would quit attending his lessons shortly. Fast forward a few years, music did end up coming into his life again at the age of 10 years old under his own influence when he began to experiment with making beats on the music software FL Studio. This would lead him into eventually trying his hand at being a YouTube producer and uploading his beats to the website in 2019. Asteria said he wasn't consistent enough or had found his own sound yet and his YouTube beats wouldn't amount to much of anything. Another way music crept into his life and his youth was at the age of 12 when him and his friends would make diss tracks towards one another. Asteria said he had a knack for this and was a lot better than his friends. Asteria went on to record these diss tracks in FL Studio which would lead him into branching out to write and record lyrics about different topics separate from these diss tracks. Music was still a small part of his life during this time and he was even too self-conscious to record while his parents were home, however one of these first songs is the earliest song on his SoundCloud titled Paranoid. Asteria recorded Paranoid at 13 years old but didn't release it until about a year later. At this point in his story, Asteria's creativity would find itself a new place to flourish and it was video editing that took the driver's seat as far as creativity went for a few years. This stemmed from the unusual skill set his brother held for the video game Fortnite. His brother was a professional Fortnite player, even qualifying for a spot in the Fortnite World Cup and traveling to New York City in 2019. Asteria also had a friend by the name of Serpent who was making gaming related content that began making a name for himself in the community. Between his brother and Serpent, Asteria was thrusted into the gaming community and started editing gaming related content himself. Asteria was going by the moniker Crayola at the time for his video edits and music he released on the side before he was met with a copyright strike from Crayola the company. Asteria would go on to get signed to the gaming branch of Overtime Sports and would edit for big creators such as FaZe Jarvis and FaZe K. Asteria did video editing for a few years but would eventually grow tired of it. He said sitting at a computer for 8 hours editing content he didn't even care to watch wasn't worth it to him. Asteria would put an end to his involvement in this towards the end of 2022. Circling back to Asteria's involvement in music would have us in the year 2020. At this point, Asteria became increasingly interested in the hyperpop community listening to artists such as Midwest, Eric DOA, Glaive, and Osquin. Asteria cites Osquin as his biggest inspiration in music. As mentioned earlier, Asteria released his song titled Paranoid in June of 2021. He followed this song up with a few more releases such as Let You Down, I Don't Need You Anyway, and Fusion. Asteria still wasn't taking music too seriously, but these songs he released were beginning to garner some attention. The attention these songs were receiving would come to a quick halt when the songs were removed from Spotify due to the copyrighted cover art Asteria was using. Asteria was using artwork from the Tokyo-based artist known as Jun Inagawa. Asteria was able to get the songs re-uploaded eventually with different artwork, but Asteria is still a huge fan of Jun Inagawa and keeps his influence alive in the cover art Asteria uses today. Asteria's current go-to artist known as Hikikomuro Neighborhood shares Asteria's appreciation for Jun Inagawa's work. After Asteria was able to get his songs re-uploaded, he had the motivation to start taking music seriously. He said he didn't realize how much his music meant to him until it got stripped away. Asteria wanted to start being more consistent with music but still wasn't comfortable enough recording with his parents in the house. At this point, it just so happened to work out that Asteria met a friend named Christian who was a seasoned musician with accolades for playing live music and had experience working with music production. Asteria went to Christian's home studio and recorded a handful of songs, most notably the songs titled Face of Death and Attachments. At this point, Asteria's sights were set on making it as a successful musician. He said he felt he had a lot of potential and his music was receiving some buzz. Asteria would drop out of school to pursue music full-time towards the end of 2022, giving him extra motivation to be consistent with music. Asteria told his parents music is what he really wanted to do and telling them this would alleviate his concerns about recording in the house. Asteria went on to release a few songs, most notably the songs titled Like That and Helen Back, but looking back on them, he said he doesn't think these songs represent him well as an artist and he was still looking to find his sound. It was one day while Asteria was on Instagram, he saw a girl he was romantically interested in post a song titled Every Single Day by Kitseki. Asteria wanted to get closer to the girl by enjoying the same art as she did and he listened to this song. Asteria fell in love with Kitseki's sound and realized he wanted to make music like this himself. Kitseki was still relatively small at the time and Asteria went on to purchase a feature from him for the song titled Molly in January of 2023. In the same month of January, things took a dark turn for Asteria when he had gotten into a car crash sustaining serious injuries. 
Following the crash while in the hospital, he had given his friend his SoundCloud login information to release a song long in the vault titled Baddest B Out. Luckily, Asteria was able to make a full recovery by mid-February. While Asteria was recovering, he reached out to Kitseki again to buy another feature. This feature would be for the song titled I F*** Your Friend and while in the hospital, Asteria had sent Kitseki the beat Asteria had produced for it. Kitseki loved the beat and this is where Asteria would form a consistent working relationship with Kitseki. In March of 2023, Asteria released another song with Kitseki titled Trying to F*** which was another big success. By the time April rolled around, Asteria was beginning to branch out to work with other big collaborators such as the artists known as Durr, You Be The Kid, Barely Human, and Noskov. Only a couple months later, Asteria had tripled his Spotify monthly listeners, but he still wanted to grow even more. Throughout the month of June, he began spamming his music on the app TikTok, which proved to be an effective method in getting his music heard. Asteria's hard work would pay off, and currently his Spotify sits at over 100,000 monthly listeners and counting. In the month of July, Asteria joined the collective titled Fab Fantasy and released his debut album titled Rave to Death with Kitseki. As far as plans for the future goes, when I interviewed Asteria, he said his number one destination is going to Poland. In between the time I interviewed him and writing this script, he was able to get a trip planned and should be there by the end of August. Asteria hopes to make a trip to the United States next to meet up with as many Fab Fantasy members as possible. He also plans to shoot music videos while traveling in the future. He's a great young artist and I look forward to seeing where his career takes him. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit, and please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.